and uh, we have a variety of technologies to, uh, you know, tackle some of the hardest environmental concerns that are out there. Things like I can tell you that even 15, 20 years ago, we already had the data that we could detect PFAS in human blood. Right now, the testing is only being done on the first six of these. These exactly. that they're, they're drinking, that the drinking. Sorry, yeah, yeah, to clarify, yeah. for drinking water. And so, people. And one of the things it sounds like you're trying to say is people should not just be thinking about how to remove these six when they're planning their next improvement, their treatment plan. So, EPA just came out with a, a final methodology for a, a test that tests for. 30 different compounds, including the compounds of incomplete destruction. Well, these are the things that when you put it into a large body of water or you put it down where it can meet up with an aquifer, this is what recharges our aquifers that actually get it back into our drinking water. Well, and that's a great that's in cycle. You're not really solving the problem. You're just putting a Band-Aid on. Individual homeowner with a well, they're not they're not getting protected, for example, uh, because like, well, someone at Denver Water will be because that's it's being dealt with at the water drinking plant. Those the, the goal is to protect kind of everyone in between. And PFAS 